Okay, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to install Java on Windows. If I get command line up first, the first thing I need to do is check whether Java is installed. Now, many of you will have Java installed. If you type Java minus version, some of you will have a version of Java installed, and it will probably say the Java Runtime Edition. If you don't have Java installed at all, that's fine. What we're about to do will install it. If you do have Java and this command works, Java minus version works, it may be that you have a runtime edition. What we want to install is the Java SDK or Java JDK, the development kit. And the way we test whether we have that installed or not is using the Java C command, the Java compiler. So I do not have Java C, I do not have the Java development kit installed. So I'm going to do that now. Now, the first place that we would think about looking for Java is java.com. If I download from here, I will get the runtime edition. So I'm going to do a search for Java JDK because we want to download the software development kit. That would take me off to the Oracle site where for the Java platform standard edition, I want to download the Java platform JDK. This is version seven that it's downloading. There are older versions you can download if you need to use uh, Java 6 for some reason. You might come in, it might be Java 8 by this time. Download Java 8, download the appropriate version that you want. Just make sure it's the JDK, the Java Development Kit. You accept the license, you download the version appropriate for your machine. I'm running a emulated version of XP from Modern IE, so I'm gonna choose the i586 version. I'll save that. Then I will fast forward this part of the video. So that's downloaded. If I run this now, I'm going to set everything to its defaults. See, it's going to install a Java runtime edition for us. If you need any help, feel free to use next steps. All I want is the JDK installed. So now, if I type in the Java C minus version command again, you see that it says it's not recognized. What we have to do and always make sure you do this on Windows machines. Close down the command prompt, start up a new one, then it's still not recognized. So Windows is telling us the Java JDK is not installed. Well, it's not, it's actually telling us that it can't find the Java compiler. Now, if I look through the Oracle Java common problems, it will tell me well, if you can't find the Java C command, it means that you haven't added it to the path. This is something I think the JDK used to do by default, but now doesn't. So now we have to update the path variable. Now in the JDK installation instructions, you can find out how to do this, but it's pretty simple. So what we have to do is find out or remember where we installed Java. So in our case, it was here in C program files, Java JDK 17051. So we know what the path is. What we're going to do now is add the correct variable to the path. So I'm going to right click on my computer and choose properties, go into advanced, go into environment variables, find the path. Now your path might be up here. You might have a path down here. It depends on your Windows system and what's been set up in your environment and your uh, office, whatever else. Here, the path is in the system variables. So I'm going to edit that. And on the end of this path, it's going to do semicolon. Make sure I'm in the bin directory and copy in the location of the Java C uh, bin folder, which is exactly what the instructions here are telling me to do. If I do OK, OK, OK. Now the tempting thing to do is to jump straight back in the command and do this. But what we have to remember 
is that with the command prompt, we have to close the command prompt down in order to have these settings take effect. Java C minus version. So we had to add it to the path in order to be able to access Java C. Now we may find that for some other applications we have to add Java Home, but we're not going to do that yet until we need to. So that's the Java JDK installed on Windows. So remember the steps were check whether Java is installed by using the Java C minus version command. If you use the Java minus version command, you're checking whether the JRE is installed. The JRE is used to run Java applications, not to develop Java applications or to code with Java. We do not go off to java.com to download it. We have to download the Java, the Java JDK. So we search for that, find it on the Oracle site, then download the version that's appropriate for us. Then we install that. Then we may have to take additional steps which are listed in the JDK installation release notes. But in our case for Windows, it was just adding the binary directory for the JDK files to our path. 